Hello traders, FS Pimcolette here. Today is Thursday, October 24th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But first, don't forget to check out my website fxpimcollector.com if you'd like to get access to my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course all included for only $30 per month. So anyways, on the pound dollar, I mean, overall, I still think the trend is up on these high time frames. We definitely have been very, very weak to the downside, so I think we are probably going to make a move down. Now, this is probably either a 1, 2, 3 down for like an ABC of B or an ABC of 2, probably. It could end up making a higher low if it ends up being like a running flat. So, anyways, let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we finally do have a break of Strata, which pretty much confirms that this whole move from here to here is over, which is why now I have my Fibonacci retracement on this move. Now, even if it does end up being like, you know, like let's say this is an A and this is a B and this is going down now for a C, it could end up making a higher low if it's a running flat, or it could possibly end up going down and make it a lower high if it's a... Uh, expanding flat so we're just gonna have to observe it to find out there's really no way of knowing for sure taking it down to the daily time frame now the trend is definitely still down on the daily for sure I mean it definitely looks like a pattern that possibly would turn up and we do have a lot of PMI news today so maybe it will start a move to the upside for a crutch into this move down so this move down is probably a wave one this move up is probably going to be a wave two What's a wave two should be a crutch into the wave one so taking it down to the 4 hour time frame, on the 4 hour time frame it is starting to turn up a little bit, but even on the 4 hour we don't have any break of Strutzer. And for me the Strutzer that really matters is way up here because that was the last end of a Kretzen. These little subdivisions right here are not ends of Kretzens, they're just little subdivisions of a trend that's already started. So a break of these Strutzers is definitely not going to turn me into a buyer. The only thing that will turn me into a buyer is seeing this main Strutzer up here broken, which to me will prove that this whole move down probably at wave one is complete so taking it right down to the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame i got my fibonacci retracement on this whole move down there is no proof at all that this thing is going up for any significant reason at all this could easily 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 end up being another abc cuts into the downtrend so keep an eye on your fibonacci levels if you see three waves up to a fibonacci level and then a golfing move down i personally would still primarily only be looking for sorts in a downtrend the only thing that's going to turn me into a buyer is seeing this break of struts are way up here. Until that happens, I'm either going to just sit on my hands waiting patiently for more sorting opportunities. I trade, you know, 22 some odd pairs, so I can wait patiently for trend continuation patterns because when you trade that many pairs, there's almost always going to be a trend continuation pattern on at least something. So anyways, don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.